What is up gamers, I'm John Jonah, and this is Archaeology 201. Now, if you have seen the complete guide for level 70, then you've already seen this video. Uh, the complete guide came out to be over one hour long, so all I did was take each individual section and split it off into their own videos. This one is all about the special research that you can unlock by level 70. If you want a video that's a one-stop shop for all the content you can unlock by level 70, then see the link in the description below for the complete guide. Or if you're interested in some of the other unlockable content for level 70, you can find the links to their respective videos in the description below. Now because this video is so long with so many different parts, I've included a timestamp list in the description below to forward you to the parts that you are most interested in. I've also included the corresponding links to the RuneScape wiki, as you may find some useful information there as well, especially when you pair it with this video. One last thing I'd like to say, just as a thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel from my last video. As you know, I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers, and it's a huge help to me when you guys subscribe. It leads me to getting monetized by YouTube and ultimately gets me the funding I need to produce more videos in a timely fashion. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. To start things off, let's head to Caradet. Now some of these research opportunities are going to be beyond your level. It doesn't mean that you can't discover them. It simply means that you cannot send a research expedition to learn more about them. So in this guide, we're going to discover as many research opportunities as we can and the ones that are above our level we can set aside for a later time. To start things off at Caradet, you'll have this wall right here that you can interact with to unlock the demon door research. Slightly further down you can study this doorway to unlock proving grounds. Down in the prison block you can study one of the cell doors to unlock the door cell mission at level 47. At level 107, you will have the opportunity to unlock the Vault of Shadows mystery. During this mystery, you will be able to study the central vault door, unlocking the mission Lockdown for level 58. From my understanding, there is no other possible way to reach this area and study the central vault. Back on the main floor, you can use your Pontifex signet ring to pass through this barrier and study the stained glass window to unlock the mission Requiescat and Pace for level 86. Slightly north of that, you can examine the fireplace to unlock Where's the Smoke for level 100. For the final research opportunity, you will have to have had all of the shadow anchors fully charged or be present during a pylon event. And this is what it looks like when all the pylons are active. Now this pylon event is game wide, meaning you can hop between worlds and the event will still be going on. A few things to note during this event, everyone will receive the protection of Zaros buff, which gives an additional 10% towards your archeology span XP and an additional 5% increase to your Madoc Precision. Also, there will be a small chance of finding an Inquisitor Staff piece from any excavation hotspot, including material caches. Another thing to note, during this event, the pylons reveal the Shadow Realm. So if there are some Shadow Anchors that you still haven't unlocked, the corresponding Ghost Legionnaires will still be present. So now's your chance to interact with them and grab all the materials. Furthermore, revealing the Shadow Realm also gives you access to the Praetorium War Room. To access it, you just click on the War Table, and you will enter this area that is essentially high-level archaeology. The only thing uh, to do in this room is to study the War Table to unlock new research opportunities. Once you've done that, you can leave the room. Another thing to note during this pylon event, you will not be collecting any more batteries. 
Batteries have been put on hold during this event. Any batteries you currently have, you can turn in, but it will not add to the charge or increase the time of the event. These pylons require about 100,000 batteries game-wide to get charged to 100%. Once they're at 100%, the event starts and lasts for about 30 minutes. So make sure while you're here, you use your time wisely. Please be sure to see the link in the description below labeled Pylon Battery Calculator. This will direct you to a wiki page where you can input your archaeology level and the number of batteries you're planning on contributing and it will tell you how much XP you can expect to gain. Also please be sure to see the link in the description below on the RuneScape wiki page regarding the Shadow Anchors. This page will show you the location of all eight anchors on this floor, how to access some of them, and even what will be revealed upon activating them. In either case, unlocking access to the Praetorium War Table and studying the War Table inside there will be the final research opportunity you can unlock at Caradet. Alright, and next up is the Infernal Source. To start things off, you're going to want to study the Star Lodge sign for the Starry-Eyed mission at level 40. Next, head down into the fireplace and study the Sacrificial Altar for the Dark Underbelly mission. Next, you want to enter the Vestibule of Futility and study the Large Door. This will unlock the Abandon All Hope mission. Next, you will want to go to the second level using the Dragon Portals and then proceed towards the west end of the area. Once you've reached the southwest portion of the area, you can study the Hellhound Marker, unlocking deeper and down at level 68. You will then need to head down to the third level, so make your way towards the northeastern side and head down the Dragon Portal. Once here, make your way towards the final Dragon Portal, which you can actually study. Studying this portal will unlock the mission Who Dis at level 68. Once that's done, you can take this portal to go down to the Hydra portal. Down here, once you've completed the Dagon Bai mystery, you can study the Hydra Gate. This will unlock the mission Hell Mouths for level 98. This completes all the research opportunities that you can discover at the Infernal Source. Once that's done, you can begin making your way towards Everlight. Once at Everlight, you can skip across the scaffolding and proceed towards the northeast, where you will find a Mound of Earth. You can study this to unlock the mission Lions and Unicorns and Centaurs. From here, you can make your way towards the Amphitheater, where you will study the stage, located just here. Studying the stage will unlock the mission Ode to a Midsummer Morning. From here, you can make your way towards the Dominion Games Stadium. Once here, you can study the Stadium Column to unlock the mission Stadio Gaga. Once that's done, make your way towards the west and use this shortcut to climb over the rubble. Once here, study the partial statue of the woman to unlock the mission Home Sweet Home. Alright, so for the last few research opportunities, you're going to need a Dominion Torch that you can excavate from the Dominion Games podium. You're going to need to restore the torch, and then you're going to be taking it down to Acropolis. To get here, just use the shortcuts that are available. Once you're at Acropolis, you can just walk to this location and click on the stone tablet to unlock this research opportunity. Now, with your restored Dominion Torch, walk over to the cave entrance. There's going to be a little pedestal here that you can interact with. This is where your torch gets placed. So interact with it once to place the torch and interact with it a second time to light the torch. Once that's done, the door will open and you can enter. Upon taking your first couple steps into this little cave for the first time, you're going to unlock 
The Hallowed Be Mystery. You of course can't finish this mystery as of yet, but at least you started it. Moving on, we're going to traverse the cave-in right here and head to the far north. Once here, you can click the Icean Skeletons for the Battle of Optimatio research mission. Once that's done, you can carry on and use this whirlpool to dive into the water. Once inside here, you can click the Lighthouse Mechanism to unlock the Like Clockwork research mission. Once you've done that, you have done pretty much everything you can do at level 70. All that's left now is to unlock your associate qualification. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope this video kind of helped you to some degree. If you enjoyed the video, I would ask once again, please consider subscribing to my channel as it'll really help me towards reaching my goal of a thousand subscribers. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below and be sure to stay tuned for the next video, which will focus on level 70 to 90 and achieving the professor qualification. Thanks again, guys. See you next time. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And if I say it enough, it gets ingrained.